Mr. Paulson, let me switch gears to ask you about this Third Avenue situation. Uh, not necessarily specifically about that, but how worried are you about credit right now? We're seeing all these credit funds blow up. Third Avenue, you know, shut its doors, liquidated the funds. Now there's a lot of worry out there about other credit funds blowing up. Is this a worry for, for, in terms of its impact on the broader market? Well, I think that remains to be seen yet. I mean, the, uh, these funds, uh, they're interesting funds. They are risky funds. Uh, as you said, they've faced some challenge. I'm sure, I'm sure the members of the FOMC are very much aware and looking at those very carefully. But, um, but I don't see them as fundamentally uh, uh, putting at risk sort of the recovery or, or credit creation or allocation uh, in the U.S. economy more broadly. Yeah, I mean, it's really about liquidity, right? I mean, w when yes. you see a liquidity event, what do most people do? They sell what they can sell. They sell right. where they have liquidity. So that's why I wonder if, you know, it, it impacts a broader area than just credit funds because when you want to get out, you want to get out whatever you can get out of. Well, but again, Murray, we have to remember that this is a very big economy and money moves around to different sectors, to different activities and different products all the time. And sometimes it moves more quickly than others. But at the end of the day, that's what economies do is they move funds around to their highest valued use. And so I think we need to, we, we, in terms of the rate increase and some of these things, we kind of need to get a grip on things that 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 uh, that the world doesn't come to an end because change takes place. Yeah, that's great analysis, Mr. Plasso. What kind of a 2016 are you looking for? I'm looking for another year, probably similar to what we had in 2015. Uh, 2015. I think we'll get growth, you know, probably around two and a half percent, maybe three percent, depending on how things play out. Uh, and I think that's perfectly acceptable. That's kind of normal. It's even a, a little bit ab above trend. So I think the economy is doing, uh, doing pretty well. We shouldn't expect a lot more, but I also think the forecast, I mean, there are always risks, but I think the forecast is pretty, pretty solid and the U.S. is on pretty good fundamentals, at least right now. So if that's the case, would it be fair to assume like, you know, three or four more interest rate hikes in the new year? Well, I think that's pretty hard, hard, hard to the case. The, the, the committee said it's going to be data dependent, and okay. it will be. Now, of course, what, whatever that means, are they going to be growing? They, they want to go gradually, but will they be able to? That will depend on the economy. Mr. Plaster, good to see you. Maria, mm -hmm. nice to be with you again. Thank you so much. Have a good holiday, sir. We'll see you soon. Charles Plaster there.